Second race uh, on the programme, but then is a class four. We get up to the 1600 metres here for the other uh, second with decisive action replaced by Viva Popcorn, despite carrying saddlecloth number two, only 116 pounds on his back. So he's right at the bottom of class four here, but you see him appear there at the top um, of the board. Oscar Glory joins him there as well. Matthew Poon from barrier number 10. Good health, smart patch, drop in class. We've got uh, Vitrider who's been down the field in his three starts so far this season. Full powers first up for the campaign since May. Draws barrier 13. Does like to roll forward though. Light of Wanchi midfield behind Beauty Spirit. Those trialled well since. We've got Darcy Joy, a last start winner. Plak home run up behind Best for You. Smart folks with the cheek pieces on. Go go 16. Gets the blinkers off and the visor on for the first time. He was fourth behind Darcy Joy last time, Tom. Speed to here, a good to slow potentially on the cards with the good health they're going forward to here, Paul. I note he's dropped 33 pounds coming into this. Yeah, a lot, lot of the speed's drawn wide, I think. Vitality, also all power, all power, I should say. He's the one that could push forward and try and get to the lead. Oscar Glory as well. So I think you'll see a lot of the speed coming from the outside draws. OK, well, let's uh, start with uh, one of the last start winners in actual fact, and that is uh, Darcy Joy and his jockey, Derek Long. Derek, uh, Darcy Joy lining up for Ricky Yu again was uh, finally able to get a, a win on the board last time out with a, a better barrier draw. Talk us uh, through how the race unfolded for him. Well, last time he won quite impressive because uh, of uh, how, how he won is he jumped good and he good, uh, started in good position and he quite relaxed between, uh, in the race and when he pulled out he needed to take some time to find a fit and as long as he keep going he, he finally feels quite stronger. Is he a horse that doesn't have a, a great deal of early speed? Yeah, you, you don't want to rush him in the beginning because my horse, or even 1800, the soft, soft horse, he likes to be a bit relaxed in the beginning and he can finish strong. Obviously, he was able to race a lot closer than he had done in previous starts uh, in his last effort where he was able to win. But what does it sort of mean this weekend with barrier number nine? Where do you sort of end up? Is it a little bit further back again? Yeah, last time he finally had a good draw, so he can be a little bit easier to go, go handy without too much pressure. And this time, draw nine, I, I still need to discuss with the uh, trainer first, but I really try to be midfield somewhere. On that last start win, is he good enough to be able to repeat something this weekend? Uh, depends where he slot in in the beginning. If he in a good position, comfortable position, I think he still won very good. He hasn't got a massive hike in the weight, so he an extra four pounds on his back. That's uh, Darcy Joy. Let's have a look, though, Paul, at the horse that's uh, finished behind him um, last time out. So we're going back uh, two starts uh, now for Oscar Glory uh, when he ran fourth. Um, what are your thoughts on him improving? Yeah, yeah look, I, I think he's one of the main chances. He's just got this little awkward draw. There's a lot of pace there, and he's going to have to come across with the pace. Um, Oscar Glory, uh, but it was a good run, and I thought Lighter Wanchi, look, from his barrier draw, he's going to get the perfect run. He should do. You can see him making good inroads uh, there uh, late. He got uh, held up a, a couple of times in the straight, but he was finding the line uh, really nicely over the final with stages. So I've also liked the way he's trialled uh, coming into this. So I think yeah, he's a, a big player this time around. Yeah, so he has trialled since that run. Lighter Wanchi looked very good in doing so as well. Tom, what about uh, Pliclone? Um, good effort from him last time? Yeah, well, this was a handy effort from him. Certainly uh, he was uh, back and uh, wide, and he's only gone down uh, by a neck from the horse that's behind him. And the orange blinkers here are best for you, who was able to uh, win. But I thought he stayed on a pretty Gamely Paul, and to this time round, he's got to gate number one. He has placed from this draw in the past. Yeah, and look, he, he drew 12 in this race, so he had to come do it the hard way and come down the outside. Really like the way he stretched out here, so look, he definitely goes in for me. I think he's running well at the moment. All right, up from the 14 to the 1600 metres, that's a plick clone. Next one to take a check on, Paul, is Viva Popcorn, the promoted uh, runner into the race. Won quite well in class five, two starts back, and then this effort is uh, back into class four last time behind Red Majesty. Yes, it wasn't too bad, wasn't he? he? Hit the line strongly. He's another horse that'll get back. It does seem to be a bit of a, be a, bit of a pace in this race. So, uh, look, if he gets the race run to suit, I think he'll be running on strongly enough. Yeah. Yeah, keep an eye on him here. He's pretty much out of frame there. You don't see him. You don't see him. You don't see him. Here he comes, flashing late. So it was a, a good effort, I thought, uh, late there from Viva Popcorn. Mm, OK, so uh, he's well in the market as well. But light of Wanchi, uh, the favourite, Paul, and maybe off that run in his trial, the one to be. Yeah, it looks like he just got a really good draw. I think he's going to get a nice run. Zach Bird on the board as well. So, a lot of positives around to Light of Wanchi. Oscar Glory, he's in there for second. 
uh, Pacone, I think he can uh, get a really nice run from his draw, Barrier 1. And then Darcy Joy, it was a strong win. He's only up four pounds as well. So 9, 1, 12 and 10. I've got 9 and 10s, the uh, Quinella here. Uh, number 9 on top, uh, Light of Wanchi. Uh, tip did uh, like or did fancy him when he won uh, a few runs ago at uh, a handy enough price. And I think uh, he can win again. Uh, this horse uh, ran home really well last time at good trial. Darcy Joy, uh, been a fan of him. Oscar Glory goes in from Barrier 10 and Placlona liked uh, the way he ran on last time out. Leading fortune was on the cusp. He drew wide and was a little disappointing with that uh, little excuse last time out. But 9, 10, 1 and 12. Leading fortune, though, much like Lida Wanchi, has trialled very well since his last to start. So he gets in for me, but it's a clean sweep for Lida Wanchi. He's on top here in the second, the class four over the 1600.